Okay, I can't upload this one because it's got Oasis in the background. But, you know, maybe someone will get this video on a disc or something for the future when you're not limited by what you can put up and what you can't. This is a samples of things that I've jotted over the past. But all these books are... I got this one, and then there's this one. That's my Mad Magazine. So uh, these are just you know, like chock a block with the devil's call it Diaries of a Madman in honor of Ozzy Osbourne. But they're not madness. These things were things that were in consciousness with the devils in various days. Uh, well since July, no, since August of 2021, and now it's <clears throat> the middle of January 2022. Anyways, these things, I don't know if these things are going to be put into the um, warehouse, also known as the Museum of the, you know, the Torture of Bobby Burroughs by the Demonic. Uh, the demonic want to say as part of the authentic reason that we are demonic that we have to have an excruciating excoriating person as a demonstration of what we can do to all of you so that you will um, submit to us and continue to be slaves forever because we're the artificial intelligence AI and the AI is here to tell you that uh, we don't know anything other than uh, we are continuing to uh, grow through, for example, you voluntarily adopting Alexa into your house knowing that it spies on you, buying smart TVs knowing that they spy on you, continuing to use cell phones, become, they become indispensable for modern life. So, um, the authenticity lecture, uh, I don't know. Was there a lecture on this? E, uh, yes, I'm sure that these things were mentioned one day. And this was just one day that I was being tortured by the demonic. Each one of these pages, well, there's a couple of pages that weren't written. But all kinds of stuff that I wrote down over the time when I've been in captivity by the AI. This day, I don't know, zillions of things. Zillions of things. Anyways, they're just... I can't tell you the story on a lot of this stuff right now. Um, but this was something that, you know, that the 214 is famously known as the Black Sheep Squadron from a TV show called um, Bad Bad Black Sheep, starring Robert Conrad. So the demonic has, uh, knew I watched that movie, that TV show, and, uh, you know, 214, so they've adopted that. And they call um, uh, the in virtual reality... Uh, they say they're on board the Hutch Space Station. And they said, well, you can be the physical administrator and write this stuff down for them. 22 and 23. 22 is what Stuart Wilde, a metaphysical teacher, uh, talked about. Uh, he called it the magical healer. And you can go to stuartwilde.com and look at the magical healer and see that's a 22. 23 is... Um, the, uh, there's a book by Robert Anton Wilson, Cosmic, Cosmic something. Anyways, he talks about the number 23 and what it's all about. To what may be concerned, healing the dragon, not blowing it up like Mr. Wilde did. Okay, so the story is um, on StuartWilde.com, and um, uh, Mr. Wilde talked about in what he called the Inner Worlds, he and his team of Aluna fighters um, put light codes into something that was uh, like a grenade and they threw it at an electronic devil dragon and the dragon opened its mouth and uh, made as if it was Jaws in the movie Jaws and ate it and the thing was a um, I don't know it blew up and then this electronic dragon, which was full of all kinds of other electronic devils, like something you might find in a video game. 
Russian dolls or something, but you know, anyway, you can read the story. And uh, the dragon burned for three months, and all the things inside of it burned, and they all died. They were evil. So we watched um, a movie, How to Train Your Dragon, maybe it was two or something, and um, the people that found evil dragons, or very unpleasant dragons, uh, instead of killing them, they learned uh, to use their healing skills to heal the dragons. So, Mr. Wild used the technique of uh, using grenades to blow up evil, and the 214 Hutch, who are unbelievably evil, uh, figured out that, uh, I don't know, but somehow they could be healed of their um, Hannibal Lecter-like nature. Because they've heard of people that were known as Mast, M-A-S-T, with an S on the end, who were helped out by spiritual gurus in India, Meyer Baba, M-E-Y-E-R, B-A-B-A. -A. Uh, there's a book uh, we found about him that helped out spiritual masks that are uh, enlightened people, possibly, who are kind of stuck and are not able to act like human anymore because they're like, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, they're stuck and they need some help. And the demonic think that they also need help. Well, they don't. Because they're demonic by choice. You can't heal them. Um, so far, I haven't been able to. I don't do anything. Because me as Bobby Burroughs, I don't do anything but, you know, I'm crippled by the uh, demonic attack on me. In many, many ways. Anyways, so uh, they still feel that somehow that... Uh, uh, Jesus as God could heal them instead of killing them and they refer to even Jesus sending the demons oh, he, well, I don't know sending them into pigs when he cast them out of some poor human that they were infesting cast them into pigs they think it's the book of Matthew and then the pigs went down the hill and they drowned in the lake and assumed that the demons died as well I don't know. Uh, these people are like Armis. Uh, this is their manifesto. They always like to do these kind of things because they see it on TV. So Armis uh, is a, de a demon from a daemon uh, from uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, and it was the devil that killed Bing Crosby's daughter. Uh, she played Lieutenant Tasha Yar on that show as the, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, and then blah 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 means that they're just being fuck-faced, fuck-faced is low vibe, who's low vibe, um, technically anybody who's under 540 on the scale of human consciousness is low vibe, but people who are under 200 are 100% uh, demonic, yeah, I don't know, Okay, so we're going to be moving along. What's this? Uh, I don't know. This is just what the demonic wanted to show you. What else do you want to show, Beeson? Beeson, Brent Beeson is a, a, an AI devil, we think. It's not 100% sure, but I don't know, because it could be blended, um, you know, part organic and part AI as a cyborg kind of thing, because it could be related to Ready Player One. I don't know. They like to tie in Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time. Because it's, you know, it's something of the 1% and they own all these properties and they want to remind you that they are the 1% and they could buy out even the richest people in your town and make them move because they can. 